So in this video, we are finishing up our color tinted snowmen. We're adding sashing and a border, and then we're going to free motion quilting on it and make a cute little wall hanging or even a, just a table thing to go on a coffee table or in the center of a square table. Hello and welcome. I am Jackie with Jackie Russell Creates where we talk about everything quilting. I give tips, tricks, and techniques so you can conquer that next quilting project. So if you want to learn how to do color tinting technique and free motion on a quilt like this with the embroidery, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Let's make a project or finish our project with our color tinting snowman. So we're going to add a border. You need one, two, three, four, five. You need six pieces that are two inches by eight and a half. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew one on the right hand side of each block and then the blocks that you're having on the left hand side you want to sew one on the left hand side so it will give sashing and then you're going to need three pieces that are two inches by 21 inches and that's for the the long strips and then we're going to add a border to it so let's go finish putting the block together when you press it you want to make sure that you press toward the sashing that just will help it because it's darker than the snowman Okay, we got our sashing done, and now we're adding our borders. The borders down the side here are two inches by 20, no, sorry, two and a half inches by 21, and the top are two and a half inches by 25. And a quick tip is when you're ironing and pressing your seams you want to make sure you're still covering your crayon with some um, wax paper paper towels something to keep the color from bleeding onto your ironing board or onto your iron itself because you still can get some of the crayon color to transfer. So let's go so on our the rest of our border and then what we're going to be doing is our making it a sandwich so we can come back and do our free motion quilting. So now we have our color tinting design sandwiched. Now we're ready to quilt it. 
So when I do embroidery, what I do is I'm just going to do like a meander around the design. You could stitch around it, just a regular, you know, straight stitch, but, or you could do any other type of stitching around it. I do not stitch onto my design because I don't want to take away from it. So I just stitch around it. Because I have my base stitched, I can start at the top and not into the center. I can start in the center and work my way around. I'll do that. We'll just go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is bring my bobbin thread up. And I am using a blue bobbin thread with the white top thread. Once I have them up, I pull both away. And I'm going to put my needle down in the roughly the same hole. And then I'm going to put on my free motion gloves. And I'm just going to do the meander stitch. Just some wavy lines in and out, up and down. So what I like to do is get my machine going pretty fast, but not too fast that I can't control. And then I'm going to move my quilt slower. Now that I've done a couple stitches, I'm going to cut my beginning threads and get them out of the way so I'm not tangling them up in my design. If you ever feel your machine is getting too out of your control, just stop. Take a minute, breathe, and then move on. I'm going to separate that. You can see that I started at the middle and I came down and I'm working in this block first and then I'll move up and work in just the top block and then I'll move over and work into the next and I work in sections. That way, for one, I know all my designs getting done, but when I'm working in a smaller section, it makes me, you know, oh, okay, this is more easy to conquer than trying to conquer a whole big quilt. So I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to bind it and we're going to use a decorative stitch to bind the quilt. So I just did the regular binding and now I have to attach it down. I sew it on the front and then flip it to the back and so I just have my regular foot on and I'm going to put on a snowflake design or star, I guess. And that's how I'm going to attach this down. And you do it just like if you were stitching in the ditch to attach the back if you don't do hand stitching. 
and you just let it go and it will make a cute little border around your project. So because these are snowmen, I'm doing the snowflake and I am doing it in white, but you can do it in matching fabric or color thread instead. So you should start to see it coming out, the little snowflakes in the back. just do that all the way around and you have a cute little border and your quilt is now binded so here's the finished wall hanging of the four snowmen that I did with the color tinting technique so I hope you enjoyed this video and this series and got something out of it if there's something you would like to see, a new technique, a new design, comment below and let me know. Be sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see the next new technique that I post. Until then, happy quilting my friends!